Welcome back everybody to a Terraria Adventures video. Today is going to be a little different. I'm going to be voicing over this episode today because I have played over two hours of this game just to progress more into the game and get some better items for preparation of the Moon Lord. So let's just get right into it a little at a time and show you all what I did. Let's go. So the first thing that I wanted to farm is the golem and get the rest of the beetle armor. I already had the chest piece, so the rest I was going to need is the helmet and the pants, which was roughly 10 of the beetle scales that the golem drops. I was also going to try to go for the pixel as well in the process. Anyways, getting to the temple, I used Danger Sense Potion to make sure I wasn't going to hit any of the traps in the temple since I didn't get rid of any of them and I just needed to get to the main part. Once I've gotten to the main part, it was to farm the golem off a couple of times to get the scales that I needed and possibly the pixel. I did have my dragon, my Stardust Dragon, to help, which did help out a lot. I farmed the golem about two times to get the amount of beetle shells I needed. With all that said, I'm not going to get into much of this, but I started to mine a lot of cl a chlorophyte, like a lot of it, to make sure I had enough. I thought I needed it for the beetle armor, but I forgot you only needed the turtle armor to make the beetle armor, so I had some extra chlorophyte that I did mine, so I'm going to speed up that portion of the video because I have a use for the chlorophyte later on in the video, which I'll I'll get on to later. The next item I was gonna go for was the Terror Spark boots. Personally, I think they are the best boots in the game, which I think is actually a fact. So there was a lot I was going to need to do to get this started, and I was gonna have to get the lava waders. These are the boots you are going to need to make the Terror Spark boots, that and the Frost Spark boots, but I was going to do that later on. So to make the lava waders, I needed an obsidian rose, an obsidian skull, and a lava charm. And the easiest way to get the obsidian rose was to farm off the fire imps in the underworld. And hopefully you get lucky that it drops. One thing I forgot is I can easily get the lava charm from the shimmer. But unfortunately, this world doesn't have a shimmer. So I'm going to have to go into one of my personal worlds that has a shimmer and be able to drop it a magma stone into the shimmer to get the lava charm. I went to the shimmer in one of my personal worlds, dropped the magma stone into the shimmer and boom out pops the lava charm. If you didn't know that you could do that, well now you do. The next thing I was gonna have to do is find the water walking boots since I thought I already had them before, but I didn't. So, which was easy enough to do, all I had to do was go find an ocean chest and see if I could find them in an ocean chest. And on the right, I didn't find any, but on the left part of the world, I did find I did find them on the left side of the world in one of the ocean chests. With that, I was going to also need to make another obsidian skull so I can combine the water walking boots and the obsidian skull to make the obsidian boots, which is also another thing to make the lava waders. All that was left now is I had to find the obsidian rose just so I could make the lava raiders, and this took so long, I cannot fathom on how long this took. The fire imps did not want to spawn very often, so I'm going to speed this up a little bit just to save some time. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but I will show obviously that I got it. This took a so much, this took a massive amount of time because the fire imps again did not want to spawn. And finally, with just that one fire imp, I have finally gotten the obsidian rose. Now all that was left to do is to make the lava waders and get on to the next step of the Terra Spark boots. The next thing I was going to have to do is make the frost spark boots, which now we are going to get into. To make the frost spark boots, I had to go and find the ice skates in one of the ice chests in the ice biomes. This also took way too long <laughs> to try to find. I have searched and opened so many ice chests that it was unbelievable. This took way too long to the point where the game was rigged until I found the one and only chest that had the almighty ice skates. And I was so happy because I was tired of digging and looking into chests in the ice biome. After all this time, we finally had the stuff to make the best boots in the game, the Terra Spark boots. After we got most of the stuff in the episode that I wanted to get, I wanted to get a better stat on my Terra Blade. And this went okay, but the goblin took took my two platinum coins. 
So I made in this whole video, I made my two, pl I made two platinum in this whole video going forward. I, like the whole time I took to get everything, I, I made two platinums from selling off things. So the goblin took that. <laughs> so uh, I went with the current stat that I have now, which is the one that you see on the screen right now, which isn't too bad, could be better, but not too bad. And I am not trying to get anything else after that because that is just not, I'm not, I'm not getting any of that. I'm, I, I value my coins. <laughs> after getting scammed, I spawned the solar eclipse to try to get the moth wings. Uh, so I can get rid of the worst wings in the game, which is the demon wings and the angel wings. <laughs> I don't know why I went with the angel wings in the beginning of the game, but I didn't know that there was actually stats on wings. I just thought wings were good. So I wanted to get rid of the wings, so I, I tried to kill the moths. The moths didn't really spawn. I was trying to get the moth wings, so they didn't really spawn. I only got like three within the solar eclipse, which is unfortunate because the moth wings are, are good, but they're not as good as the wings I made. So, as I said in the beginning of the episode, we minded a whole bunch of Chlorophyte. A whole bunch of it. Uh, we got at least 55 bars of Chlorophyte, which was easy enough to make the Spectra wings with Ectoplasm and some Chlorophyte bars. And we made the Spectra wings, which are way better than the ones that I had before. I'm not gonna go with Duke Fishrong's wings, which I was gonna go with. I was, I was gonna go with, uh, I was gonna try to beat Duke Fish, uh, Fishron to get his wings, but it is a drop percentage, and I didn't want to have take the chance to farm Duke Fishron many different times, and also die many different times just to get Duke Fishron's wings because I already knew I was gonna try to get the, the Stardust wings later on down in the game after we defeat the Moon Lord. So the Spectre Wings were going to work, and also I was also going to try to get the Cosmic Car Key as well, which would help with everything as, as well. And the Cosmic Car Key, you pretty much don't need wings after that. So we will do the Alien Invasion within the next episode of this when I do it with you guys instead of voiceover. So with that all being said, this is going to be the end of the video. It is going to be a little bit of a short video today because... It is a scripted video that I'm, I've put together of a recording and I voiced over the recording because I did play at least two hours of the game to get to where I needed to be, to get more preparation of what I should have had before the Moon Lord. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to do the moon, moon Lord with all this stuff that I had currently, so I needed to get the better stuff. But we are not done yet. We are going to be making another Terraria Adventures in a little bit. I'm probably going to go ahead and take a break from Terraria just for a little bit. I know it's what the people like on my channel and I and that's why I keep uploading it, but I do have some other videos on hold. So, I'm going to go ahead and branch off just a little bit. Just a little bit. We'll come back with Terraria Adventures to get try to get the cosmic car key, spawn some alien invasions, do some other stuff, maybe farm the pillars a little bit here and there and then when we do the farming of the pillars maybe we'll go ahead and, and try the moon lord to see what we what we need but i do indeed want to get the alien invasion going because i do want to try to get the cosmic car key because that's going to be one of the best things that i can without having to really make it an arena but i should make an arena for the campfires and the lanterns so i can have the re regeneration as well and yeah, so with that being said, I hope you guys do like the video. I hope you guys do like the different style that I did here. And if you guys did, let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel because I do things like this all the time. And I am also branching out my channel as well. If you guys like Terraria or if you guys like video games in general, I think you guys will like what I do. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.